approximately 81 miles, 130 kilometers, south of Surabaya, hidden among the coastal plains of East Java and in Indonesia, rises one of the most fascinating and threatening volcanoes on the planet. This region, known as Semeru, or Mahameru, meaning the Great Mountain, represents the highest point on the island of Java, a zone of intense volcanic activity that literally exploded in a massive eruption just hours ago. Mount Semeru, located in the Lumajang district of East Java province, is part of Bromo Tengger Semeru National Park, a volcanic area that houses multiple active volcanoes. The geological history of this region dates back millions of years when tectonic processes began to shape the Indonesian archipelago, creating the so-called Pacific Ring of Fire, and the entire volcanic chain that extends from northern Sumatra to the Lesser Sunda Islands. This continuous subduction process, where the Indo-Australian plate dives beneath the Sunda plate, is responsible for forming not only Sumeru, but also dozens of other active volcanoes such as Merapai, Bromo, and Krakatoa, which reach depths of approximately 12,066 feet, 3,676 meters, above sea level in the case of Sumeru. The sacred mountain, whose name derives from Meru, the central mountain of the world in Hindu mythology, has been venerated for centuries by local communities living on its fertile slopes. Throughout its eruptive history documented since 1818, Sumeru has demonstrated almost constant activity, with at least 63 recorded eruptive periods, 11 of which resulted in loss of human lives. The plains surrounding the volcano are densely populated by tens of thousands of people who depend on agriculture in the extremely fertile volcanic lands, creating a situation of constant coexistence between human communities and one of the most powerful and unpredictable forces of nature. Something extraordinary and alarming is happening at Mount Sumeru at this very moment, the volcano, considered one of Indonesia's most active, recorded a massive eruption on the morning of Wednesday, November 19th, 2025, producing one of the most impressive volcanic ash columns observed in recent years. The Indonesian Volcanology Agency, known as PVMBG, confirmed that the eruptive column reached the stratospheric altitude of 10.3 miles, 16.5 kilometers, above sea level, equivalent to 54,000 feet, penetrating deep into the upper atmosphere. This intense eruptive activity was not an isolated event, but the result of a dramatic escalation that began in the early afternoon hours, around four o'clock local time, when seismic sensors detected the first signs of an imminent eruption. The most terrifying phenomenon observed were the pyroclastic flows, superheated avalanches of ash, rocks, lava, and gases that descended the volcano's slopes at devastating speeds. These deadly flows reached distances of up to 4.3 miles, 7 kilometers from the summit, mainly following the Besuk Kabokan Valley to the southeast, the same route that caused catastrophic destruction in previous eruptions. Indonesian authorities immediately reacted by raising Sumeru's alert level to the maximum level 4, the highest on a four-level scale, triggering emergency evacuation protocols in multiple villages. The aviation color code was changed to red, the most severe classification resulting in the closure of surrounding airspace and warnings for all airlines to avoid the region due to dangers presented by dense volcanic ash clouds dispersing north and northwest. More than 300 people from the three villages considered at greatest risk in Lumajung district were quickly evacuated to government emergency shelters, while authorities expanded the danger zone to a radius of 5 miles 8 kilometers from the crater with even more severe restrictions applied to drainage valleys where lahars, potentially lethal volcanic mudflows, can form when hot ash mixes with rainwater. To truly understand the dimension of the threat represented by today's eruption, it is essential to compare it with the catastrophic event that occurred almost exactly four years ago. On December 4, 2021, Mount Sumeru produced one of the most devastating eruptions in Indonesia's recent history, triggered by the collapse of the lava dome at the summit after intense monsoon rains. That eruption released pyroclastic flows that travel distances of up to 10 miles, 16 kilometers, completely engulfing entire villages under layers of superheated ash and volcanic debris. The event tragically resulted in 69 loss of lives, with more than 104 people severely injured by severe burns, while another 23 remained missing. More than 10,000 people were displaced from their homes, and approximately 2,970 residences were damaged or completely destroyed, along with 43 public facilities and two critical bridges. The comparison between the 2021 eruption and today's event reveals worrying patterns of similarity. 
Both eruptions were preceded by intensified seismic activity. Both produced eruptive columns that exceeded 9.3 miles, 15 kilometers in altitude, and both generated the deadly pyroclastic flows that followed the same drainage channels toward vulnerable communities situated on the volcano's southeast slopes. Looking even further back in Samira's history, we discover that the deadliest recorded eruption occurred on August 29, 1909, when pyroclastic flows and lava destroyed 38 settlements and between 1,480 to 1,976 acres, 600 to 800 hectares, of agricultural lands, resulting in 208 loss of lives. This event remains as a somber reminder of the maximum destructive power the volcano can exert. Since 1818, when detailed historical records began, Sumeru has demonstrated being in a state of almost continuous eruption since 1967 to the present. The frequency and consistency of this volcanic activity makes Sumeru one of the most actively monitored volcanoes not only in Indonesia but worldwide. With a sophisticated network of seismic sensors, monitoring cameras, GPS stations, and spectrometers operating 24 hours a day to detect the smallest signs of changes in volcanic activity. What makes Mount Sumeru's situation even more impressive and terrifying is the colossal magnitude of the volcano itself and its potential for even more devastating eruptive events. This imposing stratovolcano rises abruptly 12,066 feet, 3,676 meters, above the southern coastal plains, completely dominating the landscape of East Java with its majestic but threatening presence. The active Jongring Sailoko crater at the summit functions as a gigantic pressure valve that, when conditions are appropriate, releases the energy accumulated in the depths of the magma chamber situated several miles below the surface. The geological complexity of the volcano includes a line of Mars containing crater lakes formed along a north-south trend cutting through the summit, in addition to cinder cones and lava domes occupying the eastern and northeast slopes creating a multifaceted volcanic system with multiple potential eruption points. The unpredictable and volatile nature of Sumeru represents one of the main challenges for experts attempting to predict its future behavior. Unlike other volcanoes, where eruptive patterns can be reasonably anticipated based on historical data and seismic monitoring, Sumeru has repeatedly demonstrated a capacity to surprise scientists with sudden changes in the intensity and style of its eruptions rapidly transitioning from moderate strombolian activity to catastrophic explosive events with little or no advance warning. Currently, a sophisticated network of monitoring equipment operates continuously on site, including broadband seismometers that detect deep volcanic tremors, thermal cameras that track changes in lava dome temperature, GPS stations that measure millimetric deformations of the volcano's surface indicating subsurface magma movements, and spectrometers that analyze the chemical composition of emitted volcanic gases, seeking changes that might pretend an escalation in eruptive activity. Indonesia, as a nation situated along the Pacific Ring of Fire, houses 129 active volcanoes more than any other country on the planet, creating a reality in which more than 270 million people live under the constant threat of volcanic activity. The challenge of protecting these populations, while allowing them to continue living in the fertile lands around the volcanoes, represents one of the most complex disaster management dilemmas faced by any nation, requiring a delicate balance between public safety, economic livelihood, and respect for the cultural traditions of local communities who consider these mountains sacred. If you are fascinated by these hidden forces of nature and wish to continue learning about volcanism, earthquakes, and the most extraordinary geological phenomena shaping our planet, Subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to not miss upcoming content about the wonders and dangers of the natural world around us.